you can be friends with her. I'm not saying not to be friends with her, but don't sweep for her. And I think you're blinded by your friendship. And and it's it's sad to see. And I just don't want to see you get caught up in the mess. I hate doing this. I hate doing this. I hate doing this. Um, I had talked to a very special friend of mine, uh, best friend actually, and we were talking about this. And I was okay. So you remember that live stream? Y'all kept asking me about Adam and what I thought about Adam with Rosanna. And I finally answered, and I said, "He's a grown ass man. He can do what he wants, right?" And I was going to leave him alone and, you know, let him talk about what he's going to talk about. It is what it is. All right. He's grown. He can he can have any kind of um, thought process about this that he wants. All right. None of my business. He's grown. Until I saw the beginning of this video. And I feel like I can't stay silent on it anymore. Now, am I going to go hardcore on him? No, because I like Adam. I genuinely like Adam. I understand a lot of people don't, but I genuinely like him. So I'm not going to go all hardcore, banging my desk and stuff like that. But I, I think Adam's missing a few things in his way of thinking with this. I really do. I, I think he's missing a few things. Yes, it's very conflicting, Marlikins, and it almost breaks my heart that I feel like I have to do this, you know, but it is what it is, life is life, all right, so, uh, Adam came out with this video, uh, three days ago, and it's called Mr., Mr. Beast is suing Dog Pack 404, all right, let's go. Um, but something has happened today okay. where the big Mr. Beast interview obviously decided to drop um, during my uh, time of rest and relaxation. So thank you so much for that one, Umpaville. But the entire interview is like two hours and I'm going to be completely honest with you. I want to get to this because I always want to hear the different opinions, the different perspectives. I think it's important for me to kind of give everyone's angle on this as soon as possible. And you know I like... Ah! Okay, I think it's good that he's doing that but i still think he's a little bit too one-sided and you're gonna hear why bring you the news as soon as possible this just dropped and i think it's important and i want to cover it however i'm gonna be completely honest with you i hate to disappoint i do not think i could watch a screen for like two and a half hours which is what the interview is luckily drama alert of all people has basically given one two three four five six six key points from the interview and if people want me to watch the entire thing maybe come like next week i can watch the entire thing which is not right now i apologize so we're gonna watch these key points and talk about it i've seen a lot of pushback on the interview uh with mr beast and umpaville a lot of people are saying that umpaville doesn't push back on jimmy mr beast on a lot of things and apparently it can be quite wishy-washy at times and just all around like not really getting to any points and kind of dancing around points but these points that are detailed by drama alert are the ones that i see people talking about so for once i'm gonna say thank you drama alert because you basically meant that i don't have for once uh his audience can't stand keemstar his audience hates keemstar i went up on a stream with adam mcintyre on his stream and uh we had mentioned keemstar about something and somebody in his chat had said something about uh, Keemstar dating a 16-year-old. And I very quickly um, shut that down. And his chat didn't like that very much. Uh, but overall, his chat's nice. You know, they, they've, all, they've always been nice to me. But, I mean, I, I'm not about pushing that misinformation. You know? I have to watch the entire thing as of right now. So let's get to this. Obviously, the first main point is that Mr. Beast is going to be allegedly suing Dogpack 404. We're going to get to the actual clip. That's the only clip out of all of this that I've watched so far. But he very much so says that he wants to sue Dogpack. And this is something that I think a lot of us could have predicted for a very long time. Now, the question is whether or not he brings Rosanna into this as well. That is a completely different conversation. 
Adam, Rosanna is already a part of it. Rosanna started becoming part of it when she started bringing Jake Weddle on and Dog, ba Dog Pack onto her channel. There is no, is Dog Pack bringing Rosanna into it. Rosanna is already in the mud. She is neck deep in the mud. I'm sorry. There is no bringing Rosanna into it. She's already into it, honey. And I'm going to give you my take on that. I'm going to go point by point. We have like five points. We'll do a point. I'll talk about it. We'll do a point. We'll talk about it. But a lot of the dog pack stuff is not surprising to me. And if anything, it's kind of stuff that I've been saying behind the scenes to a lot of people that have been involved for quite some time that they need to be a little bit careful when it comes to dog pack. And also that... I could foresee this getting messy on the basis of dog pack. Um, you will not be surprised how many, or you probably would be surprised how many people directly involved in this. I've had conversations with behind the scenes saying, distance yourself a little bit from the chaos that's going on with dog pack because it is going to come back and bite you in the ass. And ironically, a lot of people I had that conversation with told me that I would. And you know what I say to that? Good. Good. Because of what they contributed to it was overreacting and stuff and it happened you know i'm someone who has covered a lot of stories online i am in no way an expert but i'm someone who can pick up on patterns and i can they you're absolutely correct in that rosanna has used the other drama as a springboard why is no one calling that out exactly and i think she is using other drama channels to cover her ass can pick up on people and dog pack to me from the start you know i got backlash for some of my first coverage of dog pack from you know being a little bit iffy around him and then whenever i started to figure out more things about him i started getting even more iffy and each time i would take fault each time i would get backlash from people being like whoa can't believe this is your take on dog pack but it's because i'm having conversations behind the scenes with people i'm being told things behind the scenes i'm experiencing things behind the scenes i met dog pack myself you know i formed an opinion very 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 quickly on dog pack and there's a lot of things that haven't really changed in my opinion with dog pack do i think that mr beast will sue dog pack absolutely do i think that mr beast will win the lawsuit absolutely and i've been saying this behind the scenes no joke for a very long time do do i agree with mr beast suing that's another question but i'm just saying i do a hundred percent i do because he crossed the line he crossed the line he absolutely crossed the line hundred percent that I have anticipated for a very long time that dog pack is gonna get sued. And you know what? I hate to say it. I really, I'm gonna probably regret saying this, but I'm so medicated up anyway that I don't give a fuck. I believe the dog pack is gonna throw Rosanna Pensino under the bus. Rosanna girl, I love you so much. I believe the dog pack is gonna get sued and he's gonna throw you under the bus. Adam, she threw herself under the bus. That bullshit video that she made with dog pack was on her channel. I'm pretty sure it was her editors that edited it, and it was her A-B testing that went through four thumbnails on that video. He can't throw her under the bus any more than she already laid under it herself. And she still hasn't taken down the video. That video was full of lies. Full of lies. That we flat out have proof of Rosanna Pancino has thrown herself under that bus. Like, come on, man. Akiku for four ninety nine. She didn't throw herself under the bus. She jumped in front of it. Yes, very true. I believe the dog pack has a lot of information on Rosanna, and he is going to use that to his advantage to get out of a lawsuit. It won't get him out of the lawsuit, Adam. It won't get... Adam. If he has information on Rosanna... Okay, wait a minute. Let's take that sentence. Let's break that sentence down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dog pack is going to get sued, and he's going to throw you under the bus. I believe the dog pack has a lot of information on Rosanna, and he is going to use that to his advantage to get out of a lawsuit. What kind of information would he have on Rosanna that would get him out of a lawsuit with those three videos on his channel? What kind of information does he have on Rosanna about Mr. Beast that would get him off like that? So, so my question is, what has Rosanna done behind the scenes then? Because she's already part of it. She's got that bullshit video on her channel. 
So what I'm taking out of that is, what has Rosanna been doing behind the scenes? She already threw herself into the ring by her videos on Mr. Beast because nobody was watching her fucking cooking videos anymore. She decided all of a sudden that she wanted to be a drama channel. She threw herself under that bus. In my opinion, I may be completely wrong on that, but from what I have picked up on Dogpack, I believe that's where this is going to go. You know what? Mark my words. Maybe I'm going to be right. Maybe I'm going to be wrong. Oh, do I believe that Dogpack will turn his back on Rosanna? Oh, 100%. He's a weasel. That's what they do. He's a weasel and a little rat. That's what they do. He's going to turn his back on Rosanna, absolutely. And he's going to do what he can do to get out of it, probably. But Rosanna already put herself in the line of fire. By her videos, especially with the one video, she put herself in the line of fire. She's not innocent, Adam. Stop making Rosanna innocent. The one video I wanted to go over was you talking about Dog Pack using Rosanna and like gaslighting her or whatever you said. She still decided to upload that video on her channel. She decided to continually call that chat a work chat. Not only on her channel, but on Twitter. As a matter of fact, she called it an official Mr. Beast work chat. Even with proof that it wasn't. She completely manipulated how she showed those DMs on her channel. She is not innocent by any means. She is just as much as a Weasley liar as Dog Pack. Where's her proof for the broken bones? Huh? Where's her proof for the broken bones? I, I don't see the proof anywhere. So we're just supposed to believe it because it's Rosanna? I believe that Dog Pack has a lot of information on Rosanna from them being very close for a long time, whether that's in person or not. And I believe that when he is pressured with a lawsuit, he will be willing to hand over slash give slash have an opinion of Rosanna that will benefit Mr. Beast and get him out of trouble legally. Well, then maybe Rosanna should have kept her fucking nose clean, huh? Again, she is just as culpable as he is. I guess she should have kept her nose clean. I've thought it for a very long time. I believe he's been using Rosanna. And I believe that's the trajectory that this is going to go. And that makes me really sad because I do believe that Rosanna's intentions in this are... are good no no absolutely not absolutely not she got mad over a hide and seek game and this is what it's become absolutely not her intentions are not good her intentions are absolutely not good did you see the video about the group chat did you watch it explain to me how her intentions were good when they were lying throughout that video adam they lied about the Discord in that video. They made it look like it was Mr. Beast's Discord. It wasn't. It was Ava Chris Tyson's Discord. Adam, what are you doing, bro? Come on. Look, I understand. I understand she's your friend. I get it. But with a situation like this, Adam... You need to step back, and if your friend burns, they burn. Because she did it to herself. And what you're doing, by kind of sticking up for her, is you're putting yourself in the line of fire. Because once they're done with Rosanna, they're going after other creators. I guarantee, because it always happens like that. We already got on Cam Nuggets. I can't stand Quinn Theo. I think he's a weasel. What, I don't care what anybody else says, too, because apparently I'm about the only one who thinks that he's a weasel. Okay? I do not care. I, I think he is. I, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what Nick says. I don't care what anybody says. I actually disagree with Nick about Quimpia. I do. I disagree with him. I think he is uh, a lot smarter than Cam Nuggets. I will say that. But I do. I don't like Quimpia. I don't trust him. But Adam... We've already... Pegasus. Pegasus is, is, is probably going to start getting it too. Adam. Do you think just because it's Rosanna, you won't get it? 
Stop sweeping for her. She put herself there. Your best bet is just sit back and l- just let it happen. Just sit back and let it happen. You know, she has her own things with Mr. Beast. I believe the dog pack has came in and fucked it all up. And I believe that a lot of people are going to go dying because of dog pack. Starting with Rosanna Pensino. And again, I hate to say that. I like Rosanna. I do like Rosanna. She literally messaged me last night wishing me well about my eye surgery. I like Rosanna. I'm just saying that I believe that that is what dog pack is going to do. Rosanna's tunnel vision because she's pissed off about a hide and seek video. She's tunnel visioned. And Adam, you should know, because you've been doing this a long time, you don't want to get tunnel vision. Because when you get tunnel vision, you make mistakes. And she still has the one glaring ass mistake on her channel with over a million views. That the whole video was dog shit. That I believe that that is what Dog Pack is going to do. And I hope the dog pack is out of Rosanna's life. I hope that he is out of her life right now. I hope they've made that transition and whatever that is, because I know that they have been very, very, very close for a long time. It doesn't matter. Adam, I don't think you understand. It doesn't matter if dog pack is still in her life or not. One, she is still talking shit on Twitter, not knowing what the hell she's talking about. And two, that video is still up on her channel. At this point, they could hate each other. It doesn't matter anymore. She put herself there. Stop trying to be Captain save ho Stop. I really hope for the sake of Rosanna that she is out of that. I hope for the sake of her partner, he is out of that as well. They, in my opinion, we've all seen this go down before. She is going to get dragged down with him. Dogpack doesn't have much to give. In a lo- and she should! She should be dragged down with him! She absolutely should! That video is still up on her channel, Adam! She should be dragged down with him! She deserves it! She is doubling down on Twitter! What? Come on! Adam, you know I like you. You know I like you. And I have stuck up for you so much on this platform because I truly, I believed in what I said. And I know you have been dragged through the fucking mud on this platform based off of false shit. What Colleen Ballinger did and fucking Cody Rance did to you was bullshit. And they dragged you through the fucking mud for years. I hate to tell you this, but Rosanna is doing the same thing they did. She's taking things out of context. She's not giving full truth, just like Colleen and Cody did. And it is so frustrating to me that you are still sweeping for her. It is so frustrating. Lost it. You sue for money. You sue for damages. You sue for whatever. Therefore, Mr. Beast isn't going to get money off of Dogpack. What's he going to get? Information on other people. Who's the first one? Rosanna. Dogpack is a plethora of information. So I hope. You know what? It's like I said in the last video we watched. Dogpack don't have the money to pay Mr. Beast. Rosanna does. And at this point, I could, I, you know what? I said, I do not care if he, uh, if he sues Dog Pack. <laughs> I'll think it's funny. I will. I think it's funny as hell. I also think it's funny as hell if Rosanna gets sued too. Matter of fact, I hope she does. I hope it happens because she was part of it too, Adam. She spread that shit too and doubling down on Twitter to this day. Rosanna and her partner have gotten him distance everything because in my opinion this is how it's gonna go and that deeply 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 upsets me is this me taking mr b side is this me agreeing with a lawsuit is this no no i didn't say that but what i am saying is that this i do i 100 percent agree with it because it went from talking shit online to becoming very egregious dog pack and rosanna crossed that line and have been malicious with it. Now, is if Rosanna is stupid enough to not understand what she was doing, oh well, life sucks. 
Not my problem. She shouldn't have did what she did. Cry more. QQ more. This is how I think it's gonna go. Don't piss me off. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Don't piss me off. Don't do it. But I do believe this is what's gonna happen. I mark my fucking words. Mark my fucking words. At his core, Dogpack was a previous employee of Mr. Beast. He will be willing to join Mr. Beast's side again if it means throwing someone else under the bus and them taking the blame. Who's and Rosanna used to be friends with Mr. Beast. Did collabs with Mr. Beast. What? Adam, do you not realize she's pissed off because she didn't like how she was represented in a hide-and-seek video? In a shitter hide-and-seek video on YouTube. She doesn't like how she was presented in that video. Do you realize that is the beginning of her anger? Do you not understand how retarded that is? Like, I can kind of understand being kind of upset about it going, damn, that kind of sucks. I mean, I, I knew I was third. Why'd they put me in as fifth? Or whatever it was, right? I can understand being upset about it. But to go on a fucking tirade like she has about it is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like, maybe a tweet? Sure, that's fine. I can understand doing a tweet. But to go on the, the the tour of the different podcasts and the different live streams about it and shit like that? Bruh. Really? And now it has turned into, she has a video with over a million views on her channel that is spewing fucking lies. And even after the truth was presented to her, she fucking doubled down and keeps that video up. Yeah, so if she gets sued, she gets sued. Who fucking cares? The best bet for you to do, Adam, is to walk away and watch it burn. Because I'm going to be honest with you. If it ends up, and nobody's talking about it, I want to make it very clear, nobody that I know of is talking about this in the background, okay? So I'm not giving a pre-warning in that way. All right, this is just me. I noticed this and I wanted to say something because everybody knows how I am about Adam. All right, Adam, if they start coming for you based off your takes, I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to sit back and watch because at this point, if you don't stop, it is what it is. I'm going to be honest. It is what it is. I, I, I can't, I, I can't, I can't defend you in that way. Because you're literally trying to defend someone who is just as culpable as Dog Pack. Dog Pack didn't edit that video on Rosanna Pancino's channel. Dog Pack didn't upload that video. Dog Pack didn't go through uh, the four, um, the four thumbnail changes on her channel. She did that. I, I'm sorry. I would have to sit back and just watch it. Watch it happen. And I don't want it to happen to you. I, I don't want that to happen. Yes, Crash. Adam is setting himself up to be collateral damage. Yes. Yes, he is. He is. He really is. And I hate to see it. I absolutely hate to see it. It bothers me. She is, EG. Rosanna's a sinking ship. She really is. You know? And I wasn't going to say anything. After the first video of yours that I watched, I wasn't going to say anything. Until I clicked this one. And I watched you talk about this part. And I was like, I got to say something now. I have to. I can't, I can't be silent on this anymore. Because I'm one of the first people that will stick up for Adam. If I feel like Adam is uh, being wronged. In a way. So I don't show my hypocrisy. I gotta kind of call him out and tell him what he's doing wrong too, huh? And it bothers me that I'm doing this. It honestly bothers me that I'm doing this. But it is what it is. It's the name of the game, right? It's not gonna be Rosanna. I don't want that to happen. I like her. I'm team Rosanna. It's the wrong team to be on. You're on the wrong team. I hate to tell you this. You are on the wrong team. It's, it, oh, God. And you know that. I am Team Rosanna. But I believe the involvement of Dog Pack has fucked up a lot of this. And what's really crazy to me is I remember 
Again, I want to be as delicate to private information as possible. When I was in LA, I had a private conversation with Jake Weddle about this. And Jake Weddle will know exactly what I'm talking about. Jake Weddle is another piece of shit. Jake Weddle is another piece of shit. Again, I'm going to put it out there. He got paid 50 grand after he got paid for his days on the challenge. He has worked for Mr. Beast besides that challenge. He is the only person out of everybody who's gotten money. He's the paid opposition. The funny thing is, is he got paid by the person he is opposing. Jake Weddle could have left at any time. If it was starting to get too rough for him, then he need to put his big boy panties on and go, I'm not doing it anymore. And that's why, side note, that's why with challenges, I believe they should do psychological reviews before doing the challenges. Okay? Side note. Because I have a feeling he wouldn't have passed that psychological review. It's just a hunch. Just a hunch. It's my conspiracy theory. It is my thought. So I'm not going to get too much into the details, but I basically warned Jake Weddle that even though I know that he's probably close to dog packing stuff, I just warned that I've seen things like this go down before. I'm not an expert, but I've seen a pattern before with other people. I said to be careful what you're posting when it comes to dog pack, how close you are with dog pack publicly and privately. And I can say the same thing to you about Rosanna. That's the sad part. I'm literally telling you the same thing about Rosanna. I'm not one to tell people who they can and can't talk to, all right? Because I talk to people that a lot of the commentary bros can't stand, all right? And we don't talk about them. We talk about, like, real life stuff or whatever, all right? Um, you know, you could talk to whoever you want. You can hang out with whoever you want. You can watch whoever you want. But when it starts to affect your business, which is your channel... You should really think about that. And you're going down, you're, you're, you possibly, you possibly could go down with the ship also. And I hate to see it. Yeah, Midna, I agree. I think Adam is lost in the sauce of justice. Yeah. And I, listen, Adam, I'm not saying to like Mr. Beast. You don't have to like Mr. Beast. I could care less. Are there things that you could call Mr. Beast out for? Sure. Absolutely. But they blatantly, they, they blatantly lied in that video. And she still has that video up on her channel to this day. And ultimately, no one agreed with me. But I was the one who said that I believe the dog pack was going to get sued. And no one fucking believed me. And look, it just happens. Unfortunately, this is how things go. So I hope this little rent is not taken as anything other than what it is. I feel scared that this is what's going to happen to Rosanna. I don't like Mr. Beast. I don't like Dog Pack. Inevitably, this is how it's going to go, in my opinion. And in my opinion, you're sweeping for someone who doesn't deserve it. And you are literally taking the side of someone who has been just as egregious, especially in that one video. Especially in that one video. That is still up on her channel to this day and she is doubling down on Twitter to this day and she's not right so what we there was some shit talked about her in a group chat I wonder what her group chat looks like oh they're allowed to talk shit about Mr. Beast but nobody else is allowed to talk shit about her she's fucking annoying She's annoying as fuck. She was annoying as fuck about that fucking hide and seek shit. Yeah, we talk shit in a fucking group chat. And she can't let that shit go. You're not allowed to talk shit about Rosanna. Uh, before we know it, we're seeing her feet all over Twitter. We're not allowed to talk shit about that. We're not allowed to meme on that. Rosanna Pansino is not Mother Mary. So anyways, first one. Okay. I, I don't care. I'm not watching the rest of it. I wanted to go over the rant. Because I, I am, uh... I don't know how I feel. Like, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of disappointed. But I'm also kind of worried for Adam as well. Because I feel like 
he has become friends with Rosanna and and that's fine you can be friends with her I'm not saying not to be friends with her but don't sweep for her and I think you're blinded by your friendship and and it's it's sad to see and I just don't want to see you get caught up in the mess but you know what you've been doing this for a long time you've had to deal with bullshit before and uh yeah it is what it is <laughs>